There are a few other names that have been bandied about as well. From what you know of Chris Kobach, what do you think about him filling the role versus someone like, for instance, Stephen Miller, in terms of how much damage could be done based on who ends up in that position? I think Kobach is the most dangerous. I mean, Steve Miller's a, a, a kind of a fruitcake, which means he's a chief advisor to the president. Uh, but um, you know, Kobach, for all his you know, for all his wacky moves, uh, has degrees from Yale, Harvard, and Oxford. He is a brilliant and dangerous uh, spider in the uh, in the right wing web. Yeah, and that's the guy I fear most. I mean, there's also Cuccinelli, who's a kind of an acolyte. Uh, the uh, the guy who uh, failed in his run for governor of Virginia is an acolyte of Kobach, who's also um, on the list. But we know that Trump really, really wants Kobach, even though his staff is like really afraid of him. The reason I, by the way, they created that he wants to create this job of um, of uh, uh, immigration czar Zarina is that uh, it doesn't have to be confirmed by the Senate yeah. and the. Republican senators from Kansas, his own state, said they wouldn't vote to confirm him if he were named to a cabinet post like Homeland Security. This is worse. This puts him in charge of Homeland Security. And by the way, one of the things he said he would do, he's already said he would do uh, on Fox and, and elsewhere, and, and to me, is that he would look at this. He's the guy, by the way, who came up with the question on the census form. Are you a citizen or do you have uh, non-citizens in your household? He wants to use those census forms to match them against voter rolls and say, aha, there's a Jose Garcia at this address and there's a Jose Garcia registered at this address. Obviously that Jose Garcia is an illegal immigrant voter um, and remove them from the voter rolls. This could, this could knock out easily a million and a half people. He said 1 million foreigners voted for Hillary Clinton. I kid you not, 1 million. He could not, and remember, he had the power as Kansas Secretary of State, legal power to look for the hunt these people down. He tried. He couldn't find two yeah. out of the million illegal foreign voters. He couldn't find two. That is that is certainly embarrassing. Uh, one, one more question I have for you. Uh, if he, let's say he ends up as immigration czar, um, we know that, that thankfully the courts have stepped in a couple of times before to deal with Chris Kobach. We know that Donald Trump, apparently one of the reasons he forced out Kirsten Nielsen was that she kept telling him to not break the law. And uh, he recently spoke with a group of uh, border patrol officers and told them not to listen to judges when it comes to migrants entering the country. If uh, Kobach ends up in this position. How bound by the law and by the courts do you think he will he will be? Well, that's the danger. Like I said, Kobach has law degrees from Yale, Harvard, and Oxford, and uh, therefore he's a master criminal, literally. I mean, in the sense that that he has again and again and again violated the law, particularly the document called the Constitution. So, but he's very brilliant at coming up with uh, sophisticated and bogus arguments to say that he's not breaking the law. I mean, he's the guy behind all these little towns uh, saying that you, you know, you're going to get arrested if you sell an illegal immigrant a Slurpee, you know, um, and all this stuff's been thrown out by courts. But he's very brilliant at making it sound reasonable and legal when it's not even close to it. Wow. So it is. He's dangerous. Yeah, he would be. He's the guy whispering in Trump's ear that these things are these illegal moves are legal. And that's why the last Homeland Security uh, um, you know, chief, she quit because basically whatever she would say, Kobach would whisper in the, in the Agent Orange ears and he'd be done. Wow, okay, well that's terrifying. So we wanna thank you <laughs> for, for scaring the hell out of us. Uh, but we do appreciate you joining us on the show. Uh, you. You've written a number of books. Uh, I, wanna, I wanna plug The Best Democracy Money Can Buy. And, and as well, you did an, an update to uh, the, the film, The Best Democracy Money Can Buy, The Case of the Stolen Election, including- Starring Chris Kobach, starring Chris Kobach. Exactly, uh, for more information on Chris Kobach, uh, anyone uh, watching this should go and take a look at that. So Greg, thank you for joining us on the show. Thank you very much for watching this clip from The Damage Report. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell on YouTube to get notifications of our new videos. And of course, you can catch the full Damage Report live every weekday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on TYT Network on YouTube TV.